All right, so let, let's get rolling here. The neighbor just started mowing their damn yard. <laughs> I thought you were in the jungle. <laughs> oh, there's neighbors in the jungle. It's the hut next to mine. What are you drinking? Cheers. Cheers. Bloody Mary. Bloody, Bloody. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on the rocks. This is a virtual on the rocks. And virtual words getting misused. This is an actual on the rocks. There's nothing virtual about it. Thank you. I stand corrected. It's been way too long, and uh, we finally decided that we would use Zoom to drink our way to your computer. And uh, here we are uh, in the late afternoon, and uh, we all have our drinks. That's Jody, by the way, there. He's, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, I've got my Bloody Mary and everybody else has got their whiskey and we're going to do another On the Rocks and specifically the topic for this On the Rocks is to talk a little bit about what's happened and what we've done during the pandemic and then we're going to get into a little bit about uh, our predictions and what we feel is going to happen with the camera industry, specifically in the retail industry since Jody and Phil are both working in there. So let me uh, first introduce Phil Gibson from Roberts. We have... Uh, in there with the, the leather motorcycle hat or jacket on. And then um, somewhere in a deep, deep Congo uh, <laughs> is Jody Grover. If he's breaking up a little bit and is fuzzy, it's just because of uh, he's on a satellite coming to us live from some deep isolation spot. I think you need one more camera back there, Jody. I don't think- Yeah, look at all the cameras. Jody, tell us what you got behind you, Jody. That's a Canon R. It only will work as my camera on a Windows, on my computer as a Windows computer, so I put it so you couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what you, you? What's your hat? This is from a safari I did in Africa. All right. Uh, well, Phil, what do you have? You only have a you have an Olympus shirt on. Olympus EM one X shirt. Hey, with us today also is Michael Durr. Michael, say hi. Hey, how's it going? I, I, this is this is nice. I don't have to control all the cameras or anything. I, Michael's usually behind the camera, and it's nice to have him out front today. So all of my cameras are staggered start time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what camera are you actually using, Jody? You just using your computer camera, or what? I'm using the Air camera because my work computer is too old to run Zoom. You sure it's the computer that's too old? <laughs> <laughs> At least we're all healthy and uh, doing pretty good, I suppose. Um, I know everybody's maintaining distancing and masking and gloves, especially Jody. He's way out in the middle of nowhere, so he has nothing to worry about except the, the Zika virus now because he's getting a mosquito bite or something, and that'll do him in. So let's talk a little bit about what we've been doing while we've been locked up. Um, I just wrote an article today on the site called um, uh, Too Much Gear. I call it Gas. It was... Uh, Gear acquisition syndrome, or actually gather, accumulate shit. Yeah, and I noticed you put all your Olympus stuff on there. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> uh, because I, 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 I just took it all to you guys a week or two ago, and I have no more Micro Four Thirds. So I decided, specifically after you know my father-in-law died, and you know I, I just decided that if, when I die, I don't want to leave a lot of shit behind, and um, so I'm, I'm kind of narrowing down my inventory of stuff. It's time to simplify my life. I. I have an issue, okay, man. I got way too many cameras, and it's because you two. You guys. have a couple cameras, yeah, that's true. Uh, it's, it's your, and you know, you guys don't even try to help the situation. You're not very good at rehab, you know. <laughs> always calling me and telling me there's new gear to get, and I get it, and then I just keep. Drug it. dealers aren't very good at rehab. That's true. Yeah. You're kind of like the guy that hangs out at the playground. Goes like, man, I got a Nikon for you. Kevin, <laughs> what are you talking about? I sat on the curb for a half hour yesterday waiting for your pick up a piece of gear. Kevin has an issue with time and being somewhere, I've noticed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you got the same complaint, don't you? Well, why don't you just put in the Kevin factor and add uh, like 20 minutes to the time I tell you I'm going to be there. By the way, I changed the nomenclature for Micro Four Thirds. What? 
It's now called Micro Four Thirds Full Frame. Oh God! You're you're an industry changer, Jody. I'm telling you, you move the industry forward every time we do one of these. Okay, good job, man. So, Michael, let's start with you. All right. Um, you know, you've got a couple kids at home and and a wife. Um, are you still living in the same house? <laughs> we are still living in the same house, <laughs> fairly. <laughs> no, we uh, yeah, we've been here. You know, hunkered down. Kids haven't left much. We haven't left much. We go out to the grocery store. Pretty much all my work outside of the stuff that we've been editing from our Zoom interviews and things like that has all kind of dried up, little freelance jobs here and there. So, you know, it's been tough, but, you know, we're making it work. Luckily, my wife's job's been secure and we've been, uh, we've been okay there. So, you know, we're fortunate in that regard. So I can't, I can't complain too much. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And we got our Antarctica trip in. Yeah. And that trip, you know, looking back on it, it's like it, going into this and right off the, you know, back from that was, was made it even more special. I think. <laughs> oh. I talked to uh, Peter Eastway, an Australian last night and did a uh, conversations with, and he was on a trip a couple weeks after us. And uh, during his trip, People started coming down with the virus on the ship. The doctor came down with the virus. They wouldn't let the ship dock. Finally, after you know a couple of weeks at sea, they let the ship dock and they set up a secure corridor so that the people could get off the ship, get on a bus, go to a specifically chartered airplane where they put the sick people in the back and the healthy people in the front, and they flew them back to Australia. And then they put them into two-week quarantine in a real shithole hotel and with guards, so you couldn't get out of your room. Uh, I'll have that story up in a, a little while. I mean, he did some great photography, and uh, he had uh, a lot more fortunate weather than we did, Michael, on, on our trip. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to be 45 days to get home, uh, you know, from the trip, it was just ridiculous. So I think he was in isolation for over 30-plus days between you know, the extra time they spent on the ship. They had to go from Argentina to Uruguay to be able to get to a port that would even allow them to come in and dock. So, That's crazy. Um, so anyway, you know, so you, you're, you're staying safe and the kids are all healthy and so forth. And, uh, you know, you, you got through this isolation pretty good. Have you done anything photography wise as a project? Yeah, I've been trying to get out occasionally. I've been doing, uh, I did a couple of gear videos, uh, in, in isolation. And then I went out and shot the blue angels, uh, when they flew over, and did a couple of sh shoots downtown just to kind of capture the empty streets and kind of uh, catch the vibe of the the times. I'd like to go out more, but it's hard. I, I feel like I'm taking unnecessary risks. I'm hoping now as things start to open up, I'll be a little bit more confident and free to go out and shoot some stuff. So. Well, that's just more opportunity to get infected. Let me tell you, that's not anything you want to mess with after seeing Deborah go through it. Holy cow. Yeah, for sure. She, you know, she still suffers. Oh, I got him back. Oh, what's that, Jody? I lost you for a while. Everything froze for a while, except for me. So our joke worked then. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, let's start with you. What have you been doing? You, uh, you still been working at Roberts I've been every working, day, which is great. Yeah, we've uh, been able to stay open, which is awesome. Uh, we've been doing curbside for the last couple of weeks, and after after Memorial Day, hopefully, we're going to open it up a little bit. So we'll see what happens. But other than that, I've been taking a lot of pictures and. Been hanging out with Rita, watching our birds and shooting a lot of bird pictures. And yeah, you have a really cool picture of a, a hawk that you shot. Yeah, I got to walk right up to the hawk. That was that was pretty fun. And the hawk says, "Look, food comes right to me." <laughs> he kind of had that look in his eye, like, "Yeah, come a little closer, pal." <laughs> yeah, I mean, overall things have been good. Uh, you know, we're doing pretty good at the store. Um, we're still selling a lot of gear, so you know people want gear, which is great. That's good. So let me tell you, ask you something out of curiosity, um, and then you know we'll let Jody have the final word uh, you know, on the same topic. Though, is that uh, I just got a, a bulletin or a newsletter yesterday that the sales for cameras in Japan were down by seventy five percent. I think they were specifically on mirrorless cameras down by seventy five percent. What have you seen here as far as sales and so forth? Uh, with the retail side of things like you were doing? We've been selling a lot of long glass because people want to shoot wildlife stuff. They want to go out and shoot. So, I mean, we sold a lot of long glass. Camera-wise, um, nothing specific brand-wise, but it's been okay. I mean, 
you know, dollars wise, it just keeps ramping up more and more as, you know, as we're open. I mean, obviously early on retail was awful. I mean, we weren't doing anything. It was all out the door. Jody was selling stuff. I'm sure UPP has been great. eBay has been great. That's what's really kept us afloat through all this stuff. I mean, they, um, in April, Corey had a record month. So, uh, you know, as far as used and stuff, I mean, they just killed it it's because they were available and people want to spend money, their home, they go online, been selling a lot of, a lot of stuff. I mean, it's been amazing how much stuff they've been able to crank through. That's good. Um, so that kept us open through April, which is, which is huge. Do you have any idea whether you think once things open up, you're going to, you know, see business change at all? Cause I'm sure you had a lot of orders cancel out and so forth in regards to maybe portrait and wedding photographers and commercial guys and the jobs. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. Up. The Canon came out, the Canon 1DX. We started to get those cameras and now we're, you know, a lot of people don't need them because it's a sports camera. There are no sports. That's true. So it's kind of slowed things down on that camera. We actually have them in stock, I believe now. Uh, we didn't think we'd have them in stock this early uh, because we had a pretty good waiting list going, but now, We've got him. So he's awfully quiet today, isn't he? He's just sitting yeah, there. It's kind of weird. Is he all right? Are you? Can you hear us, Jody? I can absolutely hear you. Are you. It's not like you to be so quiet. Well, I have a problem. Well, we know that. <laughs> I told you, the hut next to me, and as far as reaches of Kenya, is are cutting down their yard of now of all times. So I have a hard time hearing you. Okay, so you just look at the screen like with a puzzled blank look on your face. Oh, they're three very good-looking gentlemen. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, how do you think things are going to happen when, afterwards? Tell us a little bit about what's going to go on in the retail side of things. I mean, I was thinking about this the other day, specifically after I came down and dropped some stuff off at the curb with you. It's like, okay, if I want to come in and look at a camera, I mean, i got to touch the camera. i got to do all this stuff with it. And, you know, you're going to have to take it off a shelf and give it to me. And you could be contaminated. And then you contaminate me. And there, I could be contaminated and contaminate you. I mean, it's not a – how the heck do you handle this kind of thing? It's not like even a restaurant. We're going to have to clean cameras. We're going to have to show them to people, clean them, put them back in the cases. We've got plexiglass that we've ordered. We're going to hang from the ceilings over the – you know, at certain spots over the cases so we can pull stuff out hand it to them under the plexiglass. We can chat with them or whatever. We're going to have plexiglass at the register, stuff we can clean. Obviously, we're going to have lots of cleaning, disinfectant, masks, all that stuff will be available to customers as they come in. And as they leave, obviously, they can clean their hands again. Um, so we're definitely going to implement that. Um, yeah, I'm totally with you. I mean, I'm just as nervous to be open as everybody else is, you know. I mean, grocery stores have been doing it, but, you know, other retailers, it's kind of like, you know, do we want to do it? Do we not want to do it? We're obviously going to have curbside while all this is going on, so we're going to open the store up, but we're going to have lots of customers that aren't going to want to come in. They're going to want to do curbside, which I totally understand. Um, so we're going to have to figure out a way to do curbside and help people that want to come in the store at the same time. Did you see the video of Costco, the person that refused to put a mask on mandatory? I did see that. Yes. And they told him to take a hike. I think it's great. I think it's great. I mean, if you, you know what, if you go to a store and they want you to wear a mask and you don't want to do it, go shop somewhere else. You know, it's not going to hurt Costco. It's not going to hurt, right. you know. Just go shop somewhere else. I mean, to me, if I'm going in a store where everybody's wearing a mask, I feel a lot more secure and safe, you know? And and I don't know if we're going to require that or not, but I'm certainly going to wear a mask all the time. I mean, it's it's the right thing to do. It just doesn't make any sense not to. I have one like I've been breathing into for three weeks, so I think I just want to come down, look at a camera, and get a free mask. <laughs> well, if you have a cloth be, mask, you clean it, you know? <laughs> that could be a promo. <laughs> come look at a camera and get a clean and get a mask. Free mask. <laughs> I, you know, I wish you a lot of luck on, on reopening and stuff. That's it's going to be, gonna be a... interesting. I mean, we're excited to be open. I mean, you know, it, it's everybody confuses this. Everybody wants to be open, you know. I mean, you want to make money, but you want to do it safe. And and so because you want to do it safe, people think you don't want to be open. And it's not, it's not the case. Everybody wants to be open, but you want to do it right, you know. You want to be protected. You want to protect the customer. You know, there's a right way to do it. And for whatever reason, a lot of people just – 
they're just saying fuck it they don't want to do it they think it's a hoax or whatever it is we're gonna have Lysol shooters at the front door you can take a quick Lysol shot <laughs> oh, I just lost my complete train of thought of that <laughs> holy cow. yeah derailed because of Jody now are you going to get tested Phil do they will they test the employees so that you know, you know you're okay or I don't think so no I mean that's not in the plan but who who knows who knows what we're going to do they know I'm not okay <laughs> <laughs> he's carrying something that's for sure yeah. <laughs> So let's let's go into Jody now. Jody, we, we may experience a delay in the satellite transmission because it's going all the way to Kenya. How are you and what are you doing with your sales? What have you found? You deal mainly with pros and so forth. What, what's your experience here? I have to knock on wood. There are enough working pros in, in my corral that plan correctly, have money put away, are making plans for the future. We've sort of been holding our own barely in my department. And... Uh, that said, a lot when those when Phil mentioned when the 1DX Mark III's came out, and this is a huge camera, this is a giant leap, and uh, we had about a 66% drop because, quote unquote, sorry Jody, got no business, got to wait till later. That said, the Nikon D6 right now looks like only about a. 20% drop that shows a movement one was a month ago and one was tomorrow and look at the difference in the pros and what their what their decisions are so that's an awesome whoops this isn't gonna this isn't gonna be on today is it live no no not today because I can't say we're getting d6s tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> So you, you are getting a bunch of D6s and you have a lot of Canon. So anybody watching this show, um, please give those two guys a call. Their numbers and email addresses will be below in the description on YouTube as well as in the article. And uh, if you want a Canon uh, one, one DX Mark 20 or whatever it is, and uh, <laughs> Nikon, the Nikon D6, uh, go for it. Uh, I've heard some interesting people, you know, reviews on the Nikon saying it's not really that big of a leap ahead. What, what are you feeling about that, Jody? Well, it's got a fantastic focus system in, uh, improvement, but no, it's not a huge leap like the 1DX Mark III was. Uh, but it was due. And they're going. They're not, yeah. they're, they're not in the same situation that the 1DX was. They are actually going to go. Other than the improved focus system, what else... Better Wi-Fi transmit? I guess, yeah, but I mean, it is a marginal thing. You know, we had we had a, we had a lot of people cancel on that camera because it, you know, they ordered it, they pre-ordered it, and then they realized it wasn't that big of a change. So a lot of people bought D fives or bought used ones. You know, so it uh, it kind of helped that too. It helped people make a decision one way or the other. Where the Canon is a major improvement over what it had. I mean, they did a lot of things to the Canon. My big COVID question for me is. The first camera, mirrorless, that's going to replace Sony in the leadership is the new Canon R5. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. curious, is the first camera to take the lead for how long now, Phil? God. It, for, it seems like forever, yeah. So what's the difference? What is the R5 versus the, uh, the other ones they've had, the R? Well, it's like a night and day thing from what we from what it looks like on the specs we still don't know what the resolution of the actual camera is going to be we know as start, far as video goes it's going to be 46. Some okay some engineer looked at the size of the chip and said it's got to be pretty close to 46. yeah it's kind of interesting they haven't put that spec out though we, you know it, everybody's wondering what the hell it is it's like why why put all these other specs out but not have the spec of what the still image is going to be why do you think the canon camera is there <laughs> <laughs> well i'm using my r right now so they're, they're <laughs> i have a windows computer so <laughs> no i can't because i don't have a windows friggin computer <laughs> and mike i said friggin for you instead of okay thanks thanks <laughs> <laughs> so what projects have you done jody you, you, um well, we, we've talked a little bit about the cameras but i know you've been shooting some photographs and uh um uh, You've got some stuff that you might want to share. When you decided to do this on the rocks, 
this non-virtual reel on the rocks. Mary Jane and I have been home doing, I took a vacation week. We've been doing work projects at the house, just stuff that's got to get done. And I said, oh my God, I've got no images to show that we shot during being home. Kevin's going to shit. Oh my God. So we started really paying attention. As I worked at home in the kitchen, I have all windows. And Mary Jane and I actually, in the last three weeks, we've got seven lifer pictures of birds. Some of them are just documentation. Some of them, especially Mary Jane's, are gorgeous. So seven lifers in three weeks is lifer meaning the first time we ever saw the bird. It is incredible. We're really, really lucky. And we've got some great macro work we've done doing around the house because we're, you know, we're here. We have time. When I'm working all day, Meredith, but when I see a bird, I just take a break and go photograph it. Sure, he's working all day. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. A, would you believe? <laughs> would you believe any guy dressed like that was working all day? It's it's been actually trying to make the best of it, and uh, it's been we've actually been having fun today. I had three giant holes dug, new sewers put in, holes put back in, inspections by the city. Finally, an hour ago, I can take. <laughs> oh, well, that's, that's good to After know. After how many weeks? Fantastic. <laughs> well, that was my day. Now we know why he's outside. <laughs> Jody, you, you told me you were about to take a, a vacation. Tell us a little bit about where you're going to go on your next photo adventure. Well, the photo adventure looks like it's on hold. I was on the edge. California National Parks on the same page said that park closures are good through the 25th. Campsites are closed until the 31st. It's on the same page. And uh, our camping reservations are all for first week of June. We have thousands of dollars invested in RVs and uh, airplanes. So we can't take the chance on them actually saying, you know, we're going to close for another week. So we're going to try and get in in the fall and reschedule. And I'll spend another week at home with my darling sweetheart, which is the great vacation. You know, living in the jungle there as you are. And by the way, we joke a little bit about the jungle, but jo Jody's got a garden that is just a phenomenal garden. And I guess there won't be a garden party this year, will there? Oh, yes, there will, oh, definitely. <laughs> You'll be handing out masks as you come in. For $2,000, I can buy 100 hazmat suits and make everyone wear a hazmat suit. <laughs> yeah, but how am I going to eat in a hazmat suit, man? I got to eat that, that food you're making. Come on. So everybody watching this video, stop by Jody's on July 10th. <laughs> Get a free hazmat suit and a, and a spare rib. <laughs> you just got to find it. And let me tell you, I went there the other day and made him sit on a curb for a half hour while I looked for his damn place. Bill, have you ever waited for this guy? Oh, no, that's never happened. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> With all of his COVID gear that he brought in a few weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 I saw your face is like, oh god! I pick yeah, that box I, I'm up. reading on Facebook how sick or Deb, how sick Deborah is. He, he shows up with all of his shit. I'm out there with my gloves and mask, like I'm getting ready to do a, a surgery. Here comes Kevin. Uh, <laughs> guys, of that, Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. You're good though. <laughs> Here's a little toast to Deborah. I'm so friggin' glad that she yeah, is for sure. Yeah, to Deborah. It's nice to have her back again. Let me tell you. Michael was really nice. He brought by a gallon jug of hand sanitizer. And then I got those purple gloves. And um, there's a secret to those things. Like you take them inside out and then they can, you know, one, one comes into the other and then you can dispose of them properly and, you know, not ever have to touch them. So I have, I have a whole system. I just it, threw the one, the other inside out to the outside of the mask. You take the mask, you fold it around it, you put the elastic around it and you throw it away. That's what we have to do at the store, Phil, with customers. It sounds like you could do a YouTube video on it, Jody, and get a million hits. Yeah. I can make this work on the computer. What do you mean YouTube video? You get that on TikTok and you'll, you'll go crazy. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> How many of us except you are doing TikTok? <laughs> 
I, I have an I, account. That's about I, it. I dabbled uh, <laughs> during this quarantine. <laughs> and, you know, Michael. Michael's the kind of dad that as soon as his kid's born, he's already got him an Instagram handle. And the kid has no say in it whatsoever. The handle's going to be his handle the rest of his life. You hear about this, that like kids are suing their parents now for oh. that reason? <laughs> yeah, that's well, going to go. Look forward to that. I'm then. like, yeah. I, I'm going to drown in legal fees. <laughs> I tell you, our neighbors, two kids your age, a little bit older than yours, four and seven, both are working at home, two kids. Holy crap. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Late though. Oh, I don't know how you do it. Kudos to you. Oh, yeah. thanks. We make hey, it work. Is, hey, is that a comb forward? Are you losing your hair? <laughs> what? No, I'm getting too much hair. Oh, no, okay. I think his wife. His wife put a bowl on his head and then cut around it. <laughs> okay. hey, this Kevin, is my my COVID look. Mary Jane's cutting my hair because it was time. And I'm yeah, gonna, well, show us your hair. You you don't have any left, do you? So you. it's not bad. Mary, yeah. Jane, Mary Jane's cutting my hair, and every time she hits it with the scissor, she laughs uncontrollably. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Mary Jane says we're getting off track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's probably right, and we shouldn't get off track. But well, the good uh, thing is, Mike's going to edit this. <laughs> yes, uh, but he'll, he'll edit it. You'll make it look good, Michael. This this one will be a challenge for you. Hello, where where am I? Ah, there's the there's the green screen. There, oh. there we see. It. <laughs> oh, Kevin, see. put put Paris on the background. Uh, hold on, let me. <laughs> it looks good, man. By the it way, does. I had no idea. I thought you were in the studio. That's awesome. Yeah, that that's looks how, great. Well, instantly I transported. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, out of this world. <laughs> Kevin, we only wanted one. It's cool. Oh, how about the car room? <laughs> oh, my Jeep? Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Another tangent. Mary Jane okay, says, right. get back on point, boys. Every background in the world, and that's the background. <laughs> that's just something about you. All right. Well, now I'm on, on, on a Star Wars background. Look at that. <laughs> I got to get a green screen. That's too cool. Yeah, that looks nice. The best is if you had put my background in. That would have been brilliant. But now that you've done one of these, Jody, and you're getting more technical, uh, you know, with some technical prowess here, uh, you might be able to do background changes next time yourself. My God, so I can change that to an Olympus? Yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll actually try to do something a little more photographic on our next On the Rocks, but... This was just to let you know that we've all survived. We're all out there. We've all got long hair, except Jody, whose wife cut his for him. Um, you know, mine's getting so thick. It, and it, it, look at the green coming out of it. <laughs> and Michael, you look good. Your wife's doing hair too, I see. Oh, yeah, not really. I, got, no? <laughs> I, told, I said I'm going to grow a mullet, and that, that'll keep people away from me. Oh, just like in the 80s. Look, I, I really wish you guys at Roberts a lot of luck in the next couple of weeks. Um, I can't wait to the first day where I can actually come in the store and touch shit. I'm going to touch everything. I'm going to make sure you clean the whole, every single damn camera. You can touch my anytime. Hopefully sometime soon we'll be doing one live, you know, where we're all together in one spot with a little bit of social distancing. And actually, I look at this as a benefit. I think that now when I sit at a table with you guys, we're at least six feet apart. And maybe we can stretch it for Jody a bit. <laughs> Jody, thank you. Phil, thank you. Michael, nice thank to you, see Kevin. you. It's part of the group drinking for a change. It's nice to have you on the other side of the camera. Wait, one more thing. Phil and I are doing alternate fasting. Yeah, it's Why? a 24-hour fast. 20 so hours and better looking than four you. hours of meeting. That's right. You know, we got to keep this good look going, you know. <laughs> Is that, and that's really working for you. <laughs> Take care, and we'll see you on the rocks at PhotoPXL next time. All our readers and everybody and our readers, thank you for hanging in there. If you actually made it to the end, you're, you're, you're a glutton for punishment. But We should do a giveaway right now. Anybody who's watched to this point. Get something. <laughs> a free master. They do Robert. deserve something. <laughs> this is a lot of fun.
And plus, it was a good excuse to drink for a while this afternoon. <laughs> PXL is great.